Hello, today I'm gonna be creating a very basic bank application. Um, this will be a very basic one to show you kind of the concepts of uh, different classes and utilizing those things, getting uh, different variables across different classes, getting those uh, th those variables, the amount of money um, on a bank account, etc. So let's start off i have the main um program right here this is where we will be creating the bank accounts um instances well but obviously right now it's still red because it does not know what bank account is because i have not created anything of bank account so let's just quickly go add a new class and call it bank account and here we are as you can see right now it doesn't know what it means so let's go ahead and initialize a few things here um, what are we gonna need a double with money obviously and let's just do it let's put it on a real name of a person um, have to import system to be able to use string that was the reason you can it will uh, most of the time say press alt enter to import the certain thing you need so uh, that's what I did however right now we have private money and private string name um, obviously what we're gonna need is a constructor what this is is when you create a new instance so a new bank account you will have to give a starting money the start amount and the name that's what this will do um so right now we have an error here but we can ignore that but it's basically it needs two arguments right now because of the constructor and we have zero but we will fix it in a second now once you set your name well sometimes you will need to change uh, you can change your name in real life but we're gonna go and just say that we can so this will be private you can set it here and it's not be able to change so you can but reads only which will make you really just unable to change it but whoops it's money it's optional not really required but yeah you get the point and the start amount now what we're gonna do is create a method to add money onto the amount of money that we have also we start with zero it's not really required because it will be getting in with you will get a start amount through the, the constructor but whatever Let's create a method, so public void I mean and then add money in here we want a double with amount called amount so what this means is we have a public method right now that will not return anything called add money but it requires you to give an amount and that will be the amount that you will add to the money variable so right now you can do money equals money plus amount or what you also can do is money plus equals amount for shorter now that we have done this we can do the same thing for the subtraction subtract um, double and amount and do money minus equals amount what you can do is in case you give this the same name you have to put this but obviously the this will need to be in front so with this dot money e I have minus 
the subtraction money so this means this is from here from the instance of um, your bank accounts and not from the parameter it's just so you know that when it's not working there is a reason you have to use this now we can add money we can subtract money now we also need to be able to get the money what I mean by get is just see how much money you have so I'm just gonna create a method that will return or I'm just gonna make a void method again to print into the console the name and the amount of money so public void let's do get info and we do not need any parameters right now because you call the get info on the instance in the main class on the main methods I will explain this later however right now we are here um, just to console dot right line I mean sorry and let's just start with the name so your name plus and then you can type in text um, has let's just do it very simple so plus and then money so right now it will say the name has and money very simple and I will leave it like this basically right now we are let's say we start with 100 and we are as name let's say in Bill Gates like that right now the error is gone and that's it however when you run this it won't do anything because we have not told it to do anything as you can see it just did nothing um, let's go ahead and do bank accounts dot add money 50 running this will still do nothing on the output but right now bank accounts has 150 let's do bank accounts and as you can see just to get info running this we'll say Bill Gates has 150 let's do bank account top subtract 100 and do a uh, get info again and he has 50 first he has 150 and then he has 50 you can obviously go here in the methods do a console right line here edit plus amount to the bank account running this it will literally say hey we added 50 to the bank account what you can do is do the bank account of plus name added 50 to the bank account of Bill Gates and you can do the same here but I think you get the point when we right now to bank accounts um, let's say let's just, let's just do bank let's just say that for example new bank account that has thousands and his name is that and right now you can just literally do bank that add money 155 bank accounts dot that get info and it will just all go as you can see added 52 bill gates added 155 to that bill gates has 150 that is 1155 and here bill gates has 50 because of this 
Now, that is the most important thing of the purely the working of this two classes. Let's just for for a second decrease the font size because that is why is it every time all right so now what you can do is create a loop where you for one account or in the beginning choose an account but that's a bit more difficult or it's not difficult but it's a little bit too much to explain but you can for example create a do while loop and what this will do is you can create a boolean called true for keep running and you can create a little menu with the console.write line and for example do option one and then when it's one you can do this with cases which i will uh, make a video about later on but then you can literally do bank account dot subtract and do the amount and this will work and you can keep on going you can just test it out there are a lot of possibilities that you can do but i will not explain this to you in this video today this is the mm, this is the very basic thing of classes and explained using a bank account example you can just see all the possibilities right now um, so uh, I'd say happy learning and happy programming hope you enjoy uh, yeah thanks for watching